strong reinforcement from Alabama. Where'd all your hives go, man? You sold them? Sold everything, man. Dude. And more. You got me in trouble, Randy. Uh, my wife wanted this copper one, but I understand oh, it's gone. We can always make her one, though. Yeah. <laughs> See, the first thing I said to Randy is like, hey, did you know you got me in beekeeping? You know what he said to me? Sorry. Well, you know what? <laughs> my bad. I, told, first, I, had, I met him yesterday. Yeah. I met him yesterday morning. I walked straight over. I said, my wife said to say thank you. Uh -huh. He said, for what? I said, for getting me into this. Uh -huh. See, what happened is when I wanted to get into beekeeping, uh -huh. I sent out some messages to him. Uh -huh. He's one of them that emailed me back. Uh -huh. And he, we, I think five emails with you. And so now I'm keeping bees. Uh -huh. She's yeah. thinking he all the money she had She's to spend. Spend. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you miss at the Hive Life Conference? Well, I'm here to show you a little bit of it. You missed some good education. I, I missed it as well. I gotta get the, I gotta get the CDs. You missed some sweet deals, but most of all, you missed the people. There's some wonderful people that showed up. A lot of good networking going on. A lot of good contacts made for supplies, for queens, for pollination projects, for all kinds of stuff. You missed all that. Let's go look at them for a minute. <laughs> Let's just go look at him. Oh, where is he? I'd like to look at him. <laughs> Did you find another marker? <laughs> yeah. No, I still haven't found a lot of marker. How are you going to put up some videos, huh? Yeah, I'm going oh, to awesome. walk around with some of these vendors. And... Oh, he was turned out pretty good. Did you? Very well. Very well I, I like to focus on, you know, the, the intensity on how to keep your easy. Yeah. That's what I need. <laughs> That's what we all need. <laughs> Doing all right. Oh yeah, we're doing great. Guardian Bee Apparel doing Guardian good. Guardian Bee Apparel is doing awesome. Nice, good deal. I'm making my rounds. Awesome, Mr. Randy. <laughs> How y'all do? You buying anything? I think I'm done, man. I got some OA. Yeah. I shoot them up. Hey, tell me. <laughs> tell me, what is OA? Oxalic acid. Tea? Put your sweet tea. No, no, you won't want to do that. <laughs> um, hello, Nara. I bought you a shirt. <laughs> like, like, you like you told me not to. <laughs> What's up, Terry? What's going on? Our sponsor. Our, our sponsor. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, bud. What y'all got going on down here? How's it going? How you doing? Good. Heard, heard a lot of good things about you from Cayman. Oh, no. Yeah, not from no. Cayman. I, I was looking for Cayman wouldn't have anything you. good to say about us. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman named Paul Pierce. In 1947, he actually invented this first knife, the uncapping knife. He patented this one in 1947. We make all our products in the U.S. Okay. So this is the original knife. It still makes the same way. This thermostat inside is handmade inside in Simi Valley, California. Keeps you from burning your honey? Yes. And okay. it, it comes pre-calibrated. So this one, out of the box, you can start on cabin. This is all preset to a perfect temperature. Okay. 290 degrees. Then we have this uh, queen grafting tool. So when you press this, there's a tiny uh, scoop come out. Oh, wow. And that one actually, that's a bit, uh, bent to a 45 degrees. So what it does, it, when you hit the bottom of the cell, it come out and actually scoop. As you can see, it comes out like that. Yeah. You can pick up the uh, egg and put it back. As you release it, you just scrape off the... I want to buy one of those right now. I'll ship you one. Okay. So this is something that we just developed for beekeepers. That's me. I'm testing that thing. That's why you see the wire sticking out. So it has its own control, temperature control as well, just similar to the other one. This one has a controller, so if you are an experienced beekeeper or if you have some old uh, combs, that drone combs, some people yeah. use them, some of the old drone combs. Old hard, for, yeah, yeah. Yeah, old hard ones that is difficult to cut. Right. You can crank the temperature up a little bit and use this on tap. Very nice, very nice. And of course, we have a nice high quality frame, frame grabber. Yeah. This is uh, very similar to my old Kelly grabber. Yes, actually, they don't make it anymore. Yeah? No, no. This is a heated scraper. If you have large stainless steel tanks, you can use this one to scrape off all the bottoms, old wax build up and that kind of stuff. This is uh, one of our best selling items. So this is the uncapping tank. Inside here we have a stainless steel grid. Good. And this is made of polypropylene. 
is made in, in the US. And this is an optional filter, so the wax capping will drop, you know, stay big pieces will stay here. Then honey from the wax capping will drop into the bottom bucket. You can actually take the honey from your extract and dump it here and use this as a bottling tank. Okay. You just simply open the open the gate. Now this becomes the bottling tank. Alright. This handles five gallons of honey. And these are made in the USA products, these, much like all these products most, most all of the vendors here at the conference are American-made products, most all. There's, there's a couple here that uh, have some imported stuff, but these are American-made products. Um, our salesman's not American-made, but That's the right. products are. Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a, that's a funny part, you know. It's like really, it don't sound like American made. Yeah. <laughs> Great looking knives, though. I like this uh, thermostat and this knife. Our old knife will, will burn some honey, but uh, that looks like a really good knife. Larry Lee's bees for hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. All right. How do you want to do it? Same, same way. Okay. Larry Lee's Bees. For hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> How's the conference, Larry? It's been fantastic. It's been so much fun. It's amazing to see how much it's grown since last year. Yeah, 150 folks last year were, I think, 950 that were signed up for this year. I so think it was 230 last year. Was it 230? 230. Okay, still huge, huge, massive improvement. Massive improvement. And, and three vendors last year, and now this year we've got yeah. like 30 or something. So it's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So. Larry Lee's Bees on YouTube. Check it out. Thanks, guys. How you doing, man? Hey, we appreciate it. West Alabama Bee Company, tell me about it, baby. Roll tight. <laughs> That's right. How you doing, man? Good. Good to see you making our risk. How you doing? Great. Got another happy, satisfied another customer standing here in front of you. All three shims come with it, so it's a five frame, eight frame, rack, and ten frame. Crews on by the Beetle Jail stand What's here. Up? What's up, Beetle Jail? How y'all doing? Good. How are there you? Go. Let me show y'all their product. Hangs on top of the frame. Great product for catching beetles. Hive weight, uh, hive scale. We're weighting hive. Just slip it under your hand holder. Get half the weight of your hive. That, that's great. The best seller of this show is our swarm trap. Frame rest to keep the frames from moving around. All right. Only weighs three pounds. Very durable. Lasts for years. Three pounds swarm trap. I've left uh, easy nukes out in the weather for many, many years, and it's the same material, core plash, and they they are very durable, and and will stand up to the elements for quite a while. <laughs> the swarm trooper. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool deal. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Strong microbials booth. I tell you, these vendors are doing great. They're doing a great job, and they're making a lot of good sales. And when you get done using it, just run some water through it and take it apart and clean it. So you just got to do that. So I'd give that to you today if you buy a pen. And now we're going to step down to Honeybee, Tennessee. What's going What's on? Up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Great. Busy yesterday. Yeah. Slowed down a little bit today, but it's still a good day. You and I got a picture earlier. You got yeah. a hat for John Rackley. Yeah, I got a hat for John. What's up, John? Hey, John. Got a hat for him. I'll probably wear it a little bit before I give it to him, though. Are these your extractions over here? No. They're the neighbors, but I can tell you all about them because I've heard about it all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm walking like I'm talking. You don't even make it. I just, I just got my, my food. I'm energized. <laughs> you know? I got a little bit of barbecue. Yeah, yeah. I had Look. barbecue last night. I had barbecue now. Yeah. So. We're having barbecue this evening, too. Yeah. Everybody, I found a man. I said I was going to find him. <laughs> I was blending. It took him a while to find me. I was blending in with the That's crowd. Right. My wife bought her very first bee shirt, she says. Guess whose it is? Mine. 
today? <laughs> I'm honored. Very See, honored. What, uh, I, I've been asking everybody, you know, what do you, what do you think of the conference? It's amazing. I mean, this is the best one I've ever been to. Biggest one I've ever been to, by far. And uh, the vendors are doing incredible. Yeah. Which, which is going to have them fighting to come back next time. And everybody's loving it. I haven't heard a, I haven't heard a sideways comment out of anybody. No. Everybody's loving this conference. I know. And there's been a few hiccups, a few catches along the way, but it'll get ironed out. And that's a conference. Yeah. I mean, you know. it's a it's a new venue. Yeah. And so next year, all the audio issues that we had yesterday and different things like that, they were they weren't that big a deal. But it was just, you know, if you're trying to really bring your A game. Right, right, right. Today they had some of that stuff ironed out, yeah. and next year it'll be even better and bigger, yep. hopefully. And, uh, and it's been incredible to come and meet guys like you and, I know, and this Frederick awesome. Dunn and Bob Benny and some of these other yeah, guys that are on YouTube. And, I know. And, uh, I know. That's the great thing I say about YouTube, though. Yeah. You know? Because we, you know, you, you kind of, you know, you leave comments or whatever, yeah. and even like the lives and that, but to come here, meet people like you. Yeah. Brian, awesome, Brian with Castle Hives, everybody. If you don't know him, check his channel out on YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's been really nice. Yeah. Good conference. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah. Thank you. Bees Needs, wherever they're at. Bees Needs? Bees Needs, yeah. They're right down here, I think. I'm about to do a presentation on the uses of double screen boards, and I need somebody that has a store box looking one. Mine looks kind of homemade. All right. I've been hearing a lot about the Hillco booth. Here's the Hillco booth. Got their extractors sitting out, selling pro nukes, and they're giving away hive tools. Got your free hive tool yet? Yep. All right. I'm supporting. Yes. Dirt Rooster shirt. Nice. Beautiful. Lovely. All right. <laughs> So this is a Henry, Henry meets a honeybee. Did you go up and look at the, the new twist that Thank you. Y'all want to demo a unit for me? Dogwood Ridge Honeybees is another good good company that's putting out some nice products. We bought some top covers from them on a pre-order. And it's the same top cover you see right here. Most all this stuff that's sitting out here is sold already. Yeah, <laughs> I figured you were. Tell me about your experience with Dogwood Ridge honeybees. I love them. They are very nice people. And they got cool talks for your beehives. Good customer service. Mm -hmm. They have taken good care of me. <laughs> Rubber insulated, it's going to real quick. And other things taking place in the cell. When you look at the winter cluster, we're sold out. We're sold out. Perfect. I will let you buy one and I will show you. Look at that crowd behind these ladies. Frustrated trying to see the eggs and the larvae. You cannot see through a screen you in cannot. low light. You cannot. So with my readers on, my eyes only wanted to focus on the, the mesh of the veil. And it just would not focus beyond it. I would walk away with my teeth clenched and a headache. So being a beekeeper, you solve problems. I took the mesh away. We made a frame and put a clear piece of plastic in there. Is it poly or something? It's polycarbonate, yep. Yeah. Yep, super clear. And so we just took away the problem. Yeah, it's very clear. I thought that was an actual open hole. I had to tap yeah. on it to see that anything was in there. <laughs> yep. Super easy to install. We put little pegs on the back of the inside frame. 
poke that through your veil, screw it together so your veil's not sliding around, cut out the mesh, take out the outside frame, put on the clear window, put the outside frame back on, screw it together again, and you're good to go. There you go, and there it is on a round veil, and there it is on a fencing style veil. Yep. Looks like a great, great design. Thank you. Thank you. We got old Kent Williams in the background. Just, uh, Running on, teaching all these folks a thing or two. He's awesome. Man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, because golf is yes. Have you already seen the high butler? Yes, I'll talk to you. I have. Yeah, Terry, it was good talking to you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought yeah. that was your wife or something. No, no. My wife, she, she ducked out to go shopping. <laughs> I think she's down in Pigeon Forge. I don't blame her. So, I, I've seen it. I'm just like, did you see that? I did see that. I just got through talking to them. Yep. I just got... I, I'm interested. I might just say, yeah, give it a try. You know? I, I thought I wanted one. She said, we're sold out. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> she said, she said, if you get one, they'll ship it to your place for free. Sweet. So, that yeah. guy sells my product better than I sell my own product. <laughs> Who does? This is a customer that just sells the brakes off of it. It's amazing. It's <laughs> he amazing. sells the brakes off of it. He does. Yo, I, li I listened to him explain my product to me, and I'm like, I want to buy that hive. <laughs> it's, just like, it's impressive. I mean, I'm a beekeeper by I mean, now, I come over and I'm just like, yeah, you need to get one. I love mine. I have a couple of these. I, I tell people, I'm a beekeeper by proxy. It's just my dad's a world known professor on honeybees. He was the head of the honeybee research labs at Arizona State University. He was one of the original people who actually did the artificial insemination in the UC Davis in the 1970s. So we have this hive. I've always been around bees. I got. No one over here. He's trying to walk. There you go. I've always been around bees. But I'm helping my dad. He's just like, lift this box, smoke this hive, like, treat us for my. like. And I do that, but like my dad is a main beekeeper. That's why any like beekeeping questions, I have Hank here. Hank, how it? <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Hank. <laughs> tell, tell me about the Apple May hives. So Apple May hives are great because they help you have healthier bees. The first thing is it helps the bees have more stable internal hive temperature. So they use less resources to do it. It just makes it easier right. on the bees to keep it warm, keep it cool. Uh, all those kind of aspects. That's important. It's hugely important, especially when you're in areas that you have limited resources. Your bees are going into winter with X number of pounds of, of honey in that hive, and if that winter lasts a little too long, in some areas they might run out with a wood hive. Here, they have that added efficiency. Y'all see that a lot in the feral colonies that we pull. Some of them are just massive, and they've been in houses and structures for years and years where the, it's very easy for them to maintain temperatures. Uh, whether, whether the home is or whether the property has power on it or not. The sun's not beating on them during the day and the wind's not on them at night. And so maintaining constant temperature is pretty important. And then the other aspect of it is there's a lot of it features built into these that just help beekeepers manage their bees more easily between being able to split a hive, merge a hive, extract pollen if you want to. That's another aspect that you can make a little extra side money on. Uh, it makes everything easier for the beekeeper as well too. I bought 10 of the bottoms this year. I really like them. They're super easy set up. The screws are already in place. Yep. You flip your super over, bam, bam, bam. It's attached, flip it back over and you're in business. And it, it's a all-in-one. Uh, Bottom board, yeah. It's, it's got a, what, a queen excluder. It's got a pollen Palm trap. Tribe. It's got a trade bottom. It's a vented bottom. Mouse guard. Mouse guard. Everything. I mean, it's got, there's everything on that one bottom board. Yep, and it won't rot away on you. It's crazy. This is our seven frame nucleus hive. Uh, it comes with almost every feature that our uh, 10 frame hive comes with. It's got an insulated top cover with ventilation lowers on both the front and the back, it's like all our hives. With two top feeders, where you can, again, feed them with a uh, disturbing the colony. So no drown top feeders. No drown top feeders. And it's just like if you actually have, if you're gonna feed them with the pollen patties or any dry feed, they can walk out and grab the food and go back in. If you're feeding them with syrup, just close this. Even if they fall in there, they're gonna climb back from the like the ladder-like stru uh, structure. Sure. Now are these some kind of model frames you got in here? Or are these actual Apple May frames? These are actual Apple May frames. 
And can you uh, do the interchange with Langstroth frames? They do. So I sell both my highs with, with and without the frames. Uh, all my nicks come with the frames. They're the same standard size. We're now using Premier Foundation. We used to use like Man Lake Foundations. So you can even use wax foundations to have starter strips, cut it about an inch, put it on the top and just put it in the hive and the bees are gonna start building all the comb down here. So that's for ventilation, that's for the queens and this is like a entrance, regular entrance. And we actually have all the entrances on the back as well. Okay. So you can use it as a double nick. You can have one side enter from, if you're gonna have a split colony system, you can have it go from this side or the so other. So it's got a trade bottom on it? Mm -hmm. Yep. It has a trade on the bottom board. There you or go. you can put DE for Vaseline, oil, swiffer pads, anything to like that you use for catching the small hive beetles or the mites. Bro, I kind of jokingly call this kind of the Swiss Army knife of beehives out there because I can use it for so many things. Like you just mentioned, using it for you know storing up a, a swarm you just catched out in the field. So you just shook a bee uh, a limb or whatever. You can button this whole thing up. And one of the great things about it is when you've got it all buttoned up and latched up, it stays as one solid unit. Bees are not going to leak out of it. So you can put this in the back of your car even if you wanted to, and you're not going to have bees flying everywhere in there, so it makes it easy to transport. But some other aspects of it that are really cool. So you could run this as a, a standard seven frame new. Nuke, or a nuke colony if you wanted to. You can run it as two three frame units if you wanted to. So you could have one colony on this side and one colony on that side. And with the division board, what you do there is you set it so you have it on the solid settings all the way across yeah. here. Block it up. Block it up. And now you can run it as two separate colonies. But let's say that you're two running entries. it. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you're running it as two colonies and this queen doesn't come back. Yeah. And you want to merge them together to make one colony out of what you were hoping to make two out of. Open your vent, you let just, them run, and then... Yeah, so you go to this vent. Here we're, Here, all they can do is just smell each other. Sure. Or this one here later on. Now they, the oh, workers right. can move back and forth, but yeah. the queen can't. So that's one way you can use this to merge colonies. And then for those of you that graft queens, here's the real kicker on this one here. Take your, your unit here your division board, set it so that the workers can move back and forth and put it in this position, not the center position, but the one off to the side. And on this frame, you take your drawn comb with the queen on it and trap her over on this side here so she can only lay up on this frame. Now you know the age of those eggs. So when you're gonna go graft, you know that if you've put the queen in here three days ago, the oldest egg is three days old. Sure. So nice. it's a great way for doing queen grafting. Yeah, that's nice. Too. So again, this has so many different uses. I always keep one in the back of my truck during swarm season. And in my apiary, I always keep one for just emergencies, whether it's I had a hive go down and I've got a bunch of frames of queen cells and I want to make two, two nukes out of it or what have you. It's a great emergency unit to give you that support in your, in your apiary. Great deal, super, super great design. A lot of thought went into this. And uh, pretty thick, high quality stuff. Yeah, all insulated all the way through. R factor of almost seven, 6.9. So that's equivalent to seven inches of pine wood. So it really super, super insulates your bees in there. Have y'all done a lot of uh, testing to see what the variation is on temperature through the day in, in, in the some, full sun? We have some broodminder data. Oh, is there a dirt rooster head in the Nature's Image farm booth? <laughs> Right. Hey Randy, how's how it you going? Doing, buddy? doing all right? I've been meaning to come see you all day. Just uh, uh, hey, we've all been swamped. It's, it's been great. There's been lots of people, yeah. great people coming in, supporting all the vendors, supporting yeah, the, has been. the conference. You having a good time? We are. We are getting to meet a lot of good people. Getting to meet a lot of people we've met before. Good to see you. See you. How many, and, how many cuts have you done while you're here? How many what? How many cutouts you done while you were here? One. <laughs> We're doing good, we're having a good time, and uh, this is our first time trying to do something like this. We usually sell it off the farm, you know, so trying to kind of put it all together and load it up and get it here in one piece, is, it's, been a, it's been a fun experience for learn, learning for sure, but it's, it's uh, you know, people like Amanda and everyone else that come out and support us, support the farm, you know, gives you the motivation to keep doing it and want to do it again next year, and 
Uh, so, I, so I, would, I thank her and everyone else who stopped by the booth to say hi. Really appreciate you. And, uh, you know, look forward to seeing you all on YouTube and the Facebook and everywhere else. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll be seeing you for okay, sure. Okay, Randy. Catching a little bit of a break here. I should have interviewed some of them folks during the break because the uh, overcoming the audio, especially from Cayman. So they, Cayman's pretty loud. It's hard to talk over him. What's up, YouTube? We're up here with Josh Yeager, Bearded Bee Works, meeting everybody, shaking hands, kissing babies, signing autographs, all that kind of stuff. How you enjoyed it? Man, it's been good. Yeah, it's been an awesome conference. There's a lot of folks here, a lot of, uh, a lot of good vendors, a lot of good speakers. Um, yeah, I just couldn't ask for a better conference. Came and said an awesome job. He has. He and he's worked his behind off. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to run him down and talk with him, and he's just running from one point to another. He, it's hard to catch him. Yeah. yeah. yeah you try to talk to him, and he's like, "What?" And he's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a, it's been a really good one. But check out Bearded Bee Works on YouTube. Another good channel up and coming, and uh, we're going to visit with some other guys tonight. I ran down the hall with that sweet tea going, I got her sweet tea, I'm going to be her hero. I'm Yappy the Bee Man. And then I come walking around the corner and she just looks at me and she goes, <laughs> Yappy Bee Man. And then I look over here on the shelf that she pointed out to me a while ago. Look, there's a drink, there's a drink. I got no drink. No drink whatsoever. I, I beat him to the punch. <laughs> Yep, he went to all the trouble going to get a drink, but I beat him to the punch. So. I had to refinance my house <laughs> to pay for it. Yeah, those drinks are expensive. Well, they are. I have been redeemed. I got her the Diet Pepsi she wanted. <laughs> he didn't. I'm the hero for mom. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Pigeon Mountain Trading Company. We are located in Northwest Georgia, Lafayette, Georgia. About 30 minutes outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We sell a lot of children's books. Six okay. We ship all over. We sell packages, nukes, and queens as well. Pigeon Mountain Trading Company. Let's do, uh, let's see Miller Bee Supply. Tell me where y'all out of. Uh, North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. And y'all do primarily woodenware? That's our biggest focus. We make everything in-house. Um, from boxes to frames to all the woodware needs. So we use American uh, Eastern White Pine. This is what's left over. We just got through eating ribs. Man, the ribs were amazing. Brian's trying to kill everybody with hot sauce. Hot <laughs> sauce. I like the hot sauce. Yeah. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Ricky, Ricky, say bye to everybody. Bye. We'll see y'all later. So, uh, Terry. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thanks for the barbecue. Enjoy it. Thanks for coming out. We're out of here. Yeah, we got a picture of you guys. Uh.